Hi, I'm Romé and I'm from Holland. My friends would describe me as funny, happy, but also chaotic. I mean, I lose everything. Like everybody's checking me like, Romy, do you have your phone? Do you have your purse? Okay, then we can go. <laughs> I got discovered uh, while I was shopping with my mom in the shopping street in Amsterdam, like the typical story. I was really young and shy, so the first time I said no. Later on, when I got older and I saw the television programs about modeling and everything, I was really excited. Yeah, we called the HSC again and we made an appointment and then it started rolling. The first time I saw Victoria's Secret it was with the casting for the show. I've never seen a picture of her where she wasn't smiling. I know, she's like a perpetual <laughs> She's a perpetual smiler. smiler. <laughs> she has the best smile. See, she has the best smile. Wonderful. Where are you from, Romy? <laughs> Holland. Oh, wonderful. It was amazing to have the opportunity to be here and to show yourself and try it. Yeah, it's really nice. Thanks, guys. Have a good day. I would describe the energy from Victoria's Secret as really, like, happy and you can be yourself on set. You feel the freedom to have fun with the other girls on set and have fun with the photographer and everybody on set. I got the news from my agency. They were like, we're having a contract for you. And I kind of was like, from who, from what and where? And then they said like, it's Victoria's Secret. And I was really in a shock. I couldn't believe it. Becoming a Victoria's Secret angel means a lot for me because I know the brand stands for Confident Woman. And the angels always inspired me, so I'm looking forward to inspire young girls to be the best version of themselves. Hi, my name is Taylor Hill. I'm from Denver, Colorado. My lifelong friends would probably describe me as a nerd, maybe, and a little bit quirky. I'm pretty, like, comedic. My agent, who's also a photographer, booked me on my first job in Granby, Colorado, on a dude ranch in the middle of nowhere. And he was like, wow, like you should be working and you should move to New York and travel around the world and do all these things. And my dad's very protective and he found out everything that he could about him. And then so we flew to LA, me and my dad and my mom, we had a meeting with him and he took photos of me and he submitted me to agencies in LA and I signed with Ford like three days later. I like to make people laugh. I like to make myself laugh. I'm that person and laughs at their own jokes. And <laughs> I just want it to like be a good time. Hi, hi, hi. Last year was the first time I auditioned for the Victoria's Secret Fashion Show. And I was very nervous. <laughs> when my agent first called me, he was pretending like it wasn't really important news. And just wanted to let you know that you got the show. I'm like, I gotta tell my mom. And he was like, okay, go tell your mom. So like, I hung up and then I like, called my mom. And then she was like, oh my God, yeah. Victoria's Secret takes on like new girls and they teach them how to be themselves like beautiful and like look how gorgeous you are and look how what all the things that you can do and they kind of give you a voice to be an influence in the world and be a role model which is very cool so I think becoming an angel is like becoming an official role model for young women. My name is Sarah Sampaio and I come from Portugal. I'm very shy, I'm very caring, and I'm very determined. I set up goals and I work very hard to achieve what I want. I got discovered when I was about 15. There was this contest for modeling in Portugal. I was actually very young at the time, so they asked me to come next year. Next year, I applied for it again, and I won. And I got signed by my Portuguese agency. That's how it all happened. It's a little contest. <laughs> First time I went for the casting for the fashion show, I totally blew it. I was so not prepared, but I liked the experience because I kind of knew what to expect the year after. So Sarah, have a walk for us. She's from Portugal. All the way down and back.
Relax, relax. Everyone's so much seeking. I know. Oh, thanks very much. Thank you. Bye. And we're talking about Sarah Sampaio. Do you really see when someone's like that? Gorgeous. Gorgeous, but we only have 38 slots. That's the reality. My second year, I really thought I was going to get it, and I didn't, and that broke my heart. <laughs> so I worked very, very, very hard for my third try, and I didn't want to give them any excuse not to book me. Thank you for having me yeah. again. Yes. Hopefully, this is you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Would you mind walking forward, yeah. please? I would make sure my body was on point. I worked on my walk. I left all my insecurities at the door, and I literally just went for it. You've been working over the last year, I can tell. I have to. Yeah, you have been. <laughs> and I think it went well, because I got the show that year. <laughs> when I heard that I was going to be an angel, it was funny, because my agent called me and was like, have you heard? And I'm like, what do you mean? You got it. And I'm like, got what? What did I get? Like, I don't understand. And he's like, VS Angel contract. And I'm like, no way. This is not happening. I really couldn't believe it because I come from Portugal. There's not a lot of models that come from Portugal. And in the beginning, there's a lot of people telling you, you'll never do this, you'll never do that. And it's always been one of my goals that I want to work with Victoria's Secret. I want to be the Victoria's Secret Angel. And I made it. I did it. Hi, my name is Stella Maxwell and I'm from the UK. I like to be the cool girl. I like to just live my life in a very real way. I was actually in New Zealand studying and um, I just got discovered. I was on the street with my friend, we were shopping and this woman came up to me and was like, would you like to come in? I own an agency, we can just talk about things. That's kind of how it all happened. After my first shoot, I actually just really enjoyed it and I really got into it, but I think it kind of spurred me to think about it more as like a career. My parents are angels. They've always been encouraging anything I do. Total support, 100%. Modeling for me, I, I find it, it's like acting. So if I feel sexy in the underwear, I can perform because I wear the clothes, I have the hair and makeup. I just open up. My first casting for the show, is um, it was memorable. I remember I was really nervous. I just knew I had like a limited amount of time to just give my energy and show them what I have to offer. When my agent rang me and he told me about the promotion to becoming an angel, I was a bit overwhelmed. I got emotional and it made me really happy. They choose the sexiest girls and they have the sexiest lingerie. You grow up watching it, every girl's just amazing every year. To do it, I couldn't be happier. Hi, my name is Jack and I'm from Poland. It's a funny story. <laughs> my real name is Monika Jagaciak. It's pretty complicated for a lot of people to spell, so I thought using Jack might make it easier. I kind of discovered myself. I've never, I don't have this like princess story about being discovered and changing my life. My sister, one of her good friends, became a model and she told me like, you're tall enough, you should give it a try. The first thing I did, I Google agency that's anywhere close to me and I went to see them and um, this is how it all started. I was very excited to find out I was in a commercial for Victoria's Secret. It's my first one, so it's a little overwhelming, a little nerve-wracking. It would be fun to see myself on TV and to think about that the whole America will probably see me. The casting for the show was basically just saying hi to the people I already knew. Hey Jack. Because I knew the casting director, I've been working with him before on different shows. Oh, darling. 
I really hoped and I felt confident that I'm gonna get the show. So I think I did well. <laughs> The first time I walked the runway for Victoria's Secret was a whole new experience. It's so much more fun than doing any other show. Coming an angel means to me that I'm given this great opportunity to make a change. Hi, I'm Kate. I'm from Russia, from St. Petersburg. I study ballroom dancing for eight years and I know dancing samba, rumba, cha-cha-cha. <laughs> I had a show in Russia, Next Top Model Russian. And my agent to save me in the show. And after I fly to New York and I studied to model. Victoria's Secret is popular in the Russian. I saw to the internet uh, models uh, in Victoria's Secret campaign and uh, was my dream. <laughs> Kate Hi, no, Kate. Yeah, Hello, how are you? Hi, Hi how are you? Thank you, how are you? Very good. Excellent. Are you nervous? <laughs> <laughs> Don't be nervous. We're super friendly. All right, take a walk for us, Kate. <laughs> wow. 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 Right, where are you from? Russia. How old are you? 24. And like, I'd say eight months ago, Kate didn't speak a word of English. No way. Yes, but I study now. Oh, wow. I had one show. It was in London. It's my first show. <laughs> I was so excited. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> I think an honor to be become an angel. I'm so proud to, to work with Victoria's Secret. Hi, I'm Liza Beiro. I'm from Brazil. My friends, they would describe me like a person who loves to dance and very friendly. I don't know, like, you should ask them, not me. I get discovered when I was in my hometown, which is a very small town in Brazil. A friend of mine, we used to go to the school to be a nurse. She used to modeling and she invited me to go to her agency. They had a fashion week there and then people from Sao Paulo were there and watching the fashion week and then they invited me to go to Sao Paulo. After three months I came to New York, so that was it and now I'm here. When I first started I didn't know anything about the business and after like being in New York everybody was talking about Victoria's Secrets and of course I went to check it out online and I saw Adriana, Alessandra, they are Brazilians and they are women who inspired me and I looked up to them and all those girls. I love to do a commercial because we move a lot. Not only you, it's a team. I remember like two years ago going to the casting. I was working with them like a lot during the like the whole year. And when I got there, Ed was like, what are you doing here? Like, you know you're in the show already. I'm like, I don't know. People just told me to come. So I came here just to say hi to you guys. The feeling that the whole world is watching the Victoria's Secret fashion show, it's so many emotions at the same time, like I'm scared, I'm, I'm excited, I'm nervous, it's just incredible. Yes, changed my life. <laughs> My name is Martha Hunt and I am from Wilson, North Carolina. I think that my old friends would say hopefully that I'm nice <laughs> and that I'm fun to hang out with and that I'm just a good old southern girl. 
I was probably in middle school and my friend Catherine had been watching the Victoria's Secret fashion show on TV and she was like, Martha, you should see these girls. You could be one of them. And I thought, no, no, I couldn't be one of those girls. It's funny because I'll never forget her telling me that. I remember just feeling really like excited that I got that sort of compliment. That helped encourage me to try and go to a model search and see if I had what it takes. My first casting for the show. Hi, Martha. <laughs> I just remember being extremely nervous. Every casting I've done for them has been really nerve-wracking. It's a vulnerable position. You're, you're surrounded by only beautiful women. All models at the top of their game. Once you've gotten it, you just feel so self-fulfilled. Like, wow, if I can do this, I can do anything. We're at the Victoria's Secret 2013 Fashion Show in New York City, and it is my first time walking the Victoria's Secret Fashion Show. To be in the show, it means a lot. If you're going to do a fashion show, this is the show that matters. The great thing about working with Victoria's Secret is the variety of things that I get to do when I'm on the job. When I got the call to do the holiday campaign shooting in Paris, I was floored. This is my first TV commercial ever. It's really unbelievable. I was just taking a moment outside and I was watching the Eiffel Tower lit up and I was like, wow, this is real. I'm in Paris shooting a commercial for Victoria's Secret. I mean, it doesn't get any better than that. I am very honored about becoming a Victoria's Secret angel. It's always been a dream of mine. It's such an iconic title to be given, a Victoria's Secret Angel. I've always looked up to all the angels, so it's very exciting for me to be one now. I hope that I can be a good role model. My name is Jasmine Tix, and I'm from Huntington Beach, California. My nickname is Jazzy, or Jazz. I get both all the time. I guess it could be related to my personality a bit, the jazzy part, a little bit of, you know, spunk and fun. Growing up, I did fast pitch softball, and I was the number one pitcher in the county. I struck girls out left and right. <laughs> that was my life, basically. And then I ended up quitting because I was getting actually too fit to model, and modeling was my dream, so I kind of had to pick one. My first show casting, I was so nervous. Ever since I was a little girl, I would watch the shows and watch Tyra Banks walk and all the VS supermodels walk, and it was always my dream to be on that runway. And like, I would do little fashion shows at home, like for my mom walking down the hallway, wishing it was me with my little wings. So I think it would be a childhood dream to do it. I didn't end up booking the show. I didn't take it to personally because I know that I need to just grow up a bit more. I was 18. Wow, you've been working out. You've been working out. You look good. Love it. Yeah. <laughs> when I got my first call from my agent in 2012 for the show, he just said it so like nonchalant and it's like, hey, you booked the VS show. And I was like, what? Are you kidding me? That's like one of my biggest dreams and he just said it so normal but he knew. He was kind of playing a little joke on me and I just like, I called my mom, I was screaming, I started crying and it was a really emotional day. The first time I walked the runway was a dream and I was telling myself I'm not going to believe this until I'm on the runway. So then when I stepped on the runway it just was like chills down my whole body and it's like the best feeling and the most amazing moment I've ever had in my life. I would describe Jasmine Tooks as a very caring girl, very loving, and I'm shy at first, but once you get to know me, you can't shut me up. <laughs> I do a ton of different things for Victoria's Secret. It's all very different, and I love that because it's something new every day. When I'm shooting sport with Victoria's Secret, I really put my game face on so people feel the intensity, and that's what I try to bring out. It's so different to be out there dancing and not posing. <laughs> I had to pull out some moves that I didn't know I had. <laughs> I mean, I don't know, I might quit modeling and start a dancing career. I'm very honored to be the face of Scandalous Fragrance. It's very different because you never really get to be this sexy on set, and you kind of push it to the limit, just your wildest fantasy, I'd say. 
I look forward to just representing the brand and the Victoria's Secret fans are amazing and I can't wait to meet more of them and you know show my personality a bit more because with Victoria's Secret you can really shine. Becoming an angel means so much to me. I mean I've worked my whole career to be at this position and it's a major dream of mine that I've always had growing up. My family knows how hard I worked for it and it's unreal still. Like my first fashion show, this is still unreal to me. Hi, my name is Elsa Hask and I'm from Sweden. My friends would describe me as very loyal and I'm a very good listener. But I'm also not very spontaneous, like they have to like drag me out to do things. But I'm always up for anything they suggest, you know. I was born in Sweden and my cousin was a model. So my dad decided that he was going to send pictures to a couple of agencies of all my entire family. And then all these agencies were like, mm, we like her, like who's that? And then from there it went. I had moved to New York and my agency told me that they were going to send me to see Victoria's Secret Pink. And they tried me out on the shoot and I was so nervous. And I remember the art director telling me, just relax, you have a great body, just like use it, be proud of it. And that really helped me. And after that shoot, I think I was on every single shoot with Pink for about three years. I'm just shooting with Victoria's Secret for the first time. Pink has been my family for so long that coming here feels like a big step, but I realize it's like family here as well. Today we're at Pier 59 Studios and we're shooting the Victoria's Secret Umbrella video. Coming to a set like this, you're like, whoa, like these dancers are really amazing. I love video. That's one of my favorite things to do because it feels like you get to be you. You know, a photograph is amazing, but you don't get further in. You don't see the personality often, you know. But you know what? It looks heavier than it is. So, you know, I can tell people that it was really heavy, but it really wasn't. <laughs> Becoming an angel means that you are officially part of the family of Victoria's Secret and you are the spokesperson for the whole brand. That is such a cool thing because one of the biggest, most amazing brands in the world, it doesn't get better than that. <laughs>